Hi there, welcome back. Sam the Electrician here. Uh, Sam the Electrician's triumphant return video from the depths of COVID. Uh, I didn't make any videos. Uh, they sent me home from work to work at home since March till uh, just last week. And uh, it's very difficult for me to make good uh, videos at home without getting interrupted. There's a lot of activity in my home. I've got a lot of uh, children and pets and things so almost always get uh, an interruption um, I've actually been interrupted uh, making this video a couple times tonight with calls from home so it's uh, it's hard for me to uh, get even five minutes to myself however I'm back um, another reason why I wasn't making any of these videos is because during COVID really not much was happening um, I counted the number of videos that I could have made uh, that weren't talking about COVID uh, and it would have been about five because um, just not much was happening for many months there. Uh, things have started to pick up a little bit now recently because the restrictions are being lifted um, but I also just didn't want to make videos about COVID. I, it's mundane and boring and uh, a little bit ridiculous in my opinion. The whole overreaction by all the politicians and bureaucrats and civil servants and uh, unions and teachers unions especially I'm sure you all agree with that um, it's a little hyperbolic and uh, one of the, probably the greatest overreaction in history in my opinion um, ask anyone you know and uh, they'll tell you that they probably don't even know someone who had COVID um, I, I don't I know two people um, and everyone else at work who's asked me uh, look at me surprised oh you you know someone who actually had it and I say yeah, I know a couple that had it like a a married couple uh, had it and um, that's it that's all I know um, like me personally so anyway enough about that I don't want to talk about it so uh, I'm back I'm um, gonna be making videos on a regular basis again probably not as regular as I was before uh, of course depending on the week and the political activity that's going on in the province and the country I am going to expand a little bit and start talking about federal politics uh, a little bit more uh, with the election looming. Some people believe that it's going to be right away. Some people don't. Um, you know, Trudeau prorogued Parliament the other day. Um, I'd like to go uh, off on a little bit of a side rant about that. If you remember a few few years ago, quite a few years ago now, when uh, Harper did that. Uh, it's a legal uh, established procedure in Parliament. The Prime Minister is allowed to prorogue Parliament with the per permission of the Governor General. Um, but when Harper did it, he was Hitler. If you remember the CBC and uh, especially social media and every uh, liberal and leftist in the country were screaming about how he's a dictator and an th authoritarian. Um, so tongue in cheek here. Uh, let's see the same reaction by the CBC and the leftists about Trudeau doing it. Uh, once again, you'll hear crickets, you'll hear nothing. Another um, double standard and hypocrisy of the left uh, showing through in their, uh, the, you know, the liberal wing of the, uh, sorry, the propaganda wing of the Liberal Party, the CBC. You know, they'll have nothing to say about that uh, whatsoever. Uh, but again, you know, when Harper did it, he was Hitler. So uh, anyway... Uh, some interesting things did happen. I'll be making some videos about those coming up. So we'll get a couple videos out here sort of hot and heavy and then it'll sort of settle down. Um, one of them being the uh, Alberta uh, Freedom Conservative Party and the Wexit Party uh, of Alberta voted. We voted as uh, members were allowed to to merge the parties. So now the party is officially known as the Alberta uh, sorry Wild Rose Independence Party of Alberta uh, or Wild Rose Alberta Independence Party I don't I don't really remember it's a it's quite a mouthful um, as a title but uh, there you have it they formed their first uh, consti constituency association uh, last week and they're gonna they're working on others they're gonna work on getting enough um, so by next election there'll be one in every riding or whatever it is uh, I'll have more details on that in, in the individual videos I'll be making uh, another piece of big news for me and all other uh, freedom loving gun owners in Alberta is the 
Alberta government under Jason Kenney has declared that they're going to be appointing a chief firearms officer for Alberta, which means that he can he has the power legally to stand up against the federal gun ban. Uh, so don't get rid of your guns yet. Um, there is still hope that we may uh, remain as our motto says strong and free uh, certainly my hope and then uh, barring that we'll just separate anyway so uh, don't get rid of your guns until the last possible moment that's the the first thing that uh, little potato uh, as the Chinese call Trudeau uh, that's the first thing he wants is to disarm the populace so um, it's funny there's another Hitler comparison uh, as I go off on my rant there uh, what was the first thing Hitler did? He disarmed everybody. Now Trudeau's trying to do the same, but there's no Hitler comparisons by the leftist media. Very funny, very strange, eh? Yeah, so uh, another big thing that happened was uh, Trudeau also fired, or uh, Morneau, the finance minister, resigned, whatever. Trudeau threw him under the bus. And I heard today that uh, Christian Freeland, of all people, is now going to step into the finance minister uh, role, uh, which is basically the second most important role in the country, uh, traditionally in a parliamentary system. And uh, I believe she has an art history major in Russian art or something. So it's another great qualified uh, appointment by Trudeau. Um, keep them coming, buddy. Uh, you know, the worse it gets, uh, the more it'll push people out here to uh, get organized and uh, and. Uh, politely step out of this uh, ill-conceived confederation that we have going on anyway so i'm not going to make this one too long i'm back uh thanks again for joining me thanks for tuning in uh share the videos uh, let everyone know that uh i'm back and uh there'll be more to come take it easy